Hey everyone, welcome back to TC24. Today we have a special episode in honor of Tom Chambers' 60th Perfect. birthday. Yes, today is Tom Chambers' 60th birthday, and what better way to celebrate it than revisiting his 60-point game back in 1990 against his former team, the Seattle Supersonics. And we'd also like to take this opportunity to say, Happy Birthday, Tom, wishing you many great years ahead, and thank you for the memories. I was out that night, I think Dan was out that night, and so uh, I guess there's more shots available for Tom. <laughs> this is one of the best performances offensively that I've ever seen. Because he did it against his former team, which is hard to do. You just want to show them what they're missing. I think with Tom, more than trying to like prove something to Seattle, that's just kind of who he was. He had a killer instinct when it came to like scoring buckets. And that's what he did. Uh, I mean, he was focused. We knew it going into the game. Uh, he was just rolling. That was in Tom, when Tom was almost unstoppable. You know, he can go in the mid-post, shoot turnaround jump shots. Uh, you know, he could shoot it from outside if guys came out on him. Uh, he would just drive it by and dunk it. And, uh, I think he had 22 field goals that game. So, uh, yeah, to make 22 shots in a game is, is ridiculous. And, uh, you know, he was making them from all over the place. He gets to 30, and then he gets to 40. And, you know, if you think about it, a 50-point game is just magical in itself. And here he is, he has 60. So uh, as it got to that point, I mean, all of us are just, you know, you know trying to encourage him, get, get, get top of the ball, they, you know, run a play, whatever. The amazing thing is, I think Eddie was on that team, so that for him to get those kind of shots up, you know, at, at the expense of Eddie not getting shots up, that's, that's, a, that's a miracle in itself. Look, I only took eight shots that game, and I felt good, but I backed off. Uh, Kevin Johnson backed off. A lot of guys did, and we just kept feeding him the basketball. I think he wound up taking 32 shots and uh, went to the free throw line, seemed like every possession, and just had one of those games that you always want to remember in your career. It was unreal. What I remember is, is a guy having a video game like night. Look, when a guy with immense talent like that, once they get started on those nights, and you've seen some of the great ones, it's hard. It's hard. Once they get that rhythm and that momentum, it's hard to stop them. 60 points. Okay, I got it out. 60 points. And he was, man, it didn't really seem like it was going to evolve into that kind of night. But oh boy, that second half. And all of a sudden, TC started putting them up, up shots. And I'm looking at that scoreboard, 42, 46. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, hold on, man. It's the middle part of the third. We tried everything possibly. And uh, they were really handling us, and uh, I think Cotton just kept him in to try to rub it in. You know, somebody got to get on him. They put me on him. I'm like going, 52, 54. You know, if we're in the fourth quarter. I went, no, he, no, uh -uh, he's not going to break 60 on me. You, you get him, Sean. You're talking about when somebody hit that, that moment in the game where, where the basket is this big, and they can do no wrong. Oh, that's, that's the kind of night he had. We tried everything. We went back to old school where we tried a box and one. We started throwing bodies and towels and, and cars and keys and, and ice. Nothing can stop that dude. Well, it's kind of, you know, typical of Tom Chambers. He always used things to motivate him like a lot of the great players do. And uh, we threw the kitchen sink at him. And Tommy, with his versatility, he could score from the perimeter, he'd get out on the break. You know, he could finish in the paint. He would be a terrific player in today's game. Tom could play today with the game he had back then, you know, at 6'10", 6 6'11". 6 he always wanted to prove that he belonged. And no one ever refuted that because of the way he played the game. Tommy, you're finally being forgiven for dropping those numbers on us. You've had a great career, and we wish you the best. You're a class guy, and you're one hell of a basketball player. TC. It's been 25, and you put up 60 on me, man. I have kids now, and there's video, and we're in the age now where, where you can just make one click of a button and everything pops up. All I want to know is you put 60 on the Sonics that night. Why? Why, man? 
he scored 60 without a three-pointer. You know, it's uh, you know something else to, to be able to do that. You know, he, he could get to the free throw line. He shot some free throws. I just remember he was absolutely on fire. I mean, you know, just build up. And you know, Tom was always a scorer, so you're like, okay, well, you know, you can hard, hard guard for anybody. But then, you know, he just kept getting buckets and buckets, and he wasn't missing. He didn't say a word. He just looked at you. I mean, you know, you had to know Tom. Uh, I, I had a way of getting inside of him and getting him to react about things. But he always just had that intense look, that serious look. You know, just sitting there watching the game, you know, in street calls. And, you know, you, it's almost like you see some of these guys now when they have these big games. Everybody just tends to watch them and watch what they're doing. And, and uh, you know, guys go, hey, I'm getting him the ball because the guy can't miss. And, and you can just see the ball get fed around. And, uh, you know, try to find Tom wherever he's at, whether it was inside or outside. It was an amazing thing. So when he gets all, you know, we're excited when he gets to, to like 45, you know, where he's going to get 50 points. And next thing you know, he, has, he, has, he ends up at 60. So that was, a, it was an amazing night. It seemed like every night that we needed buckets or needed points, he'd put up 35 uh, uh, and, and made it look easy. He would only allow his teammates to really see him smile behind the scenes. Tom was a professional scorer. I mean, he could, he could get buckets and bunches and, and for us. Over, not just that year, but over the years, he did. And that's what he did. I mean, he did a great job, and, but that night was, was special. It was, it was magic. I was looking at him, I think, that particular game. I, he had had 50, and, and he was, like, looking unhappy. What the heck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> well, he went on and got 10 more points, so, hey, maybe he was just focused. I never understand why he doesn't get more consideration for the Hall of Fame. That just amazes me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And please be sure to check out these other Tom Chambers videos on this channel.